check, check. Timer ran out. Let's get started, everybody. By everybody. You know who I mean. guest host Johnny Melwater. Hi everybody and welcome to the Real American Streaming Experience. I'm your guest host Johnny Melwater. Uh, Butch is not available today. It's Sunday. He likes to keep busy on Sundays. Busiest day so I'm here to host. Got a great show for you today. Uh, got some new songs. Uh, got a couple of poems I want to go over. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, but first uh, let's warm up. What do you say? Let's go to the vocal exercises. See if I can Here we go. First, the classics. Red leather, yellow leather. 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 Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. Fresh fried fish. Fresh fried fish. Fresh fried fish. 
11 benelephant elephants, 11 benelephant elephants, 11 benelephant elephants. She stood on the balcony, inexplicably mimicking him hiccuping and amicably welcoming him in. She stood on the balcony, inexplicably mimicking him hiccuping and amicably welcoming him in. She stood on the balcony, inexplicably mimicking him hiccuping and amicably welcoming him in. Selfish shellfish. Selfish shellfish. Selfish shellfish. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Good blood, bad blood. 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 Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Men munch mush mash. Men munch much mash. Men munch mush much mash. Fruit float. Fruit float. Fruit float. Fruit float. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. How could a clam cram in a clean cream can? Then toast to ten tenths stout saints, ten tall tents. The thirty-three thieves thought that they thrilled the throne throughout Thursday. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish the wish the witch wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. Stupid superstition. Stupid superstition. Stupid superstition, stupid superstition. If Stu choose shoes, should Stu choose the shoes he choose? If Stu choose shoes, should Stu choose the shoes he shoes? Midget Roger rejects gadgets for a major magic agent. Midget Roger rejects gadgets for a major magic agent. One smart fellow, he felt smart. One smart fellow, he felt smart. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four corpulent porpoises, five limerick oysters, six pairs of Don Alfonso's tweezers, seven thousand Macedonian warriors in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt, nine apathetic, diabetic, sympathetic old men on roller skates with a marked propensity for procrastination and sloth, and ten lyrical, spherical, diabolical denizens of the deep who all stall around the corner of the quay, of the quo, of the quay, of the quivery, all at the same time. Still not quite sure with that, but and all right, I am warmed up. I think it's safe to assume there's nobody in the chat. All right, let's check the chat, shall we? Anyway. Howdy, thanks for welcoming me to the welcome pot, my very own place here. Let's see, nobody says hi, a lot of stream lines, and we're set to go. Check, 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 vocal exercise, vocal sounds right, music sounds good. Tell you what, let's spin the wheel. <laughs> ask me anything. Let's skip ask me anything because there's nobody in the chat. Conspiracy. Let's head on down to Conspiracy Corner. Now, I don't like to talk politics here on the big show, but uh, I have a conspiracy theory. I think uh, that Disney is about to totally destroy a guy named DeSantis who runs Florida. He decided to try to look like a big man uh, by changing the deal Florida had with Disney, not realizing that Disney uh, owns everything and has the best lawyers in the world and will conquer anybody who's interested in taking them on. Nobody goes up against Disney and wins, especially not some guy thinks he runs the state. It's almost done. But let's read a conspiracy theory off the list. Let's talk about the moon landings. Or better yet, the Hadron Collider. There's some who believe that the Hadron Collider will open the gates of hell. Conspiracy theories the world over were made nervous by the installation of CERN's Large Hadron Collider on the French-Swiss border. 
America. When it was first switched on in 2008, a lot of people feared that the massive underground loop, which sends particles crashing into each other at lightning speed, would create a black hole that would immediately swallow up the Earth. Now, when this didn't happen, theories moved on to the possibility that the Large Hadron Collider would open up a portal between Earth and another kind of existence. Some scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking, have said that bending space-time is theoretically possible, leading many conspiracy theorists to expand on their musings in every direction. Specific hypotheses around CERN range from the fact that a wormhole to another universe, as a matter of fact, from the theory that a wormhole, wormhole to another universe will be opened to the idea that the underground ring will open the gateway to hell. These fears were further, further fueled in 2016 when photos emerged of a lightning storm over the general region of the Hadron Collider. Now, some believe the scientists at CERN, who uh, discovered the Higgs boson, often, part, often, often dubbed the God Particle, use that ruse to cover up the fact that they are actively working to summon God. Mostly the God referred to is not a benevolent one, but Shiva the Destroyer. The proof? There is a Shiva statue, it's a gift from India outside the center, and the four letters of CERN appear at the front of Sunnumas, the Celtic hornet god of the underworld. CERN actually stands for Rossil European Poire de Russia Nucleale, which means uh, European Center for Nuclear Research. See how that turns out. Let's spin the wheel. on down to the monologue. This is from The Dictator by Charlie Chaplin. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I'd like to help everyone if possible, Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there is room for everyone. And the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical. Our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. But the very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness of men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed. 
the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass, and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. So long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes, men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourself to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery. Fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, Hey, Kali, I'm so glad you're here. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, The kingdom of God is within man. Not one man or a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the power. The people have the power. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful. To make this life a wonderful adventure. Then, in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future, an old age, a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power. But they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite. Nice. Let's go to the chat, shall we? Hey, buddy. Nice to see you, Kali. Thanks for checking in. How you doing, pal? Hey, Twitch Prime. Oh, cool. I didn't even know how that works. Welcome, man. Thank you so much, a subscriber. I'm so excited. What do I do? You want a song? You want a uh, uh, thank you? How about that? How about a thank you? I'll give you a quick compliment for my eagle. Here, hold on. Compliment. How about that? I wish there were more just like you, buddy. I'm okay-ish too, man. I'm feeling a little bit off my game this week. Uh, let's see. I, I uh, had my show on Wednesday, and I was coughing. I was feeling pretty sick. And then on Thursday, I went camping. I love camping, uh, and it was great. I, I just sat out uh, in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park in Tennessee. It's about three hours from here. I went out there and took a nap in a, <laughs> in a hammock. And then I told... And then I uh, built a fire. It was nice, about 70 degrees. It was 70 degrees, it was really, really nice. After my nap, I put up the tent. Then I just stared at the water, it's by a big creek, so I like to watch the water and meditate for a few hours, and I did that. Then when it got dark, I built a big, beautiful fire, took a nap, and came home. It was just what I needed. Um, feeling a little bit off my game, I'm still coughing. I'm still sad for no particular reason. I was grouchy yesterday. I don't know what the hell's going on with me emotionally, but uh, also my, my meeting today, I like to have, you know, I like to meet with my comedians. Uh, yeah, old school five style. Yeah, I, I, I hiked on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, for those of you reading, uh, built fire how? Old school. Yeah, I, uh, well, I brought some, you're allowed to use the firewood there in the, in the park, but I like to bring firewood with me uh, that's been heat treated, so it's a little bit easier to get the big pieces if I want it to last for a few hours. But yeah, I, I, I uh, hiked the Appalachian Trail with my wife in 2008, so we built under 200 fires and got pretty good at it. Yeah, I built it myself. Feeling sad for no reason and uh, not good enough for some reason. But you know how that goes. How about you, buddy? Hey, JC the thing, welcome. That's all right, I'll feel better in a minute. I'm excited, I got somebody new. How you doing, JC? I'm doing great, man. Healthy, happy, rich, and pretty. What's up with you? Welcome to the melting pot. Oh, I know it'll get better. Thank you very much, Kali. I appreciate the encouragement. Hey, JC, where are you coming in from? Where are you writing in from, buddy? we got lots of fun stuff to do. You can see it there at the bottom of the screen if you want to try any of that stuff. But I'd like to check in. Great to have a first-time streamer. Thanks for finding me. must have strolled way, way down. Uh, my name is Johnny. I'm not the usual host of this stream. Uh, the usual host of the stream is a guy named Butch Hockersmith. 
He's a real American. I'm his nephew. I'm covering for him today. And uh, hopefully we'll have some fun. What you in the mood for, JC? Where are you from? What's the good word? Well, maybe you just want to say hello. Oh, good. He's all right. Just got home from work, so hanging out, doing some paperwork. Right on. Well, really good in the background. I won't, you don't need to do too much chatting unless you feel like it. Love to know who you are, where you're from. Are you the king or are you referring to the other JC the king? This Sunday seems like the right day for it. Uh, whatever the case, let's spin the wheel. Hey, all right. Now I'm telling you false. Welcome, my friend. And I got a buddy from Poland. This is very, very exciting. Thanks for tuning in. Consequently, he's here. Yay! These are regular. All right, Riddles. Let's see. We'll go down to the Riddle House real quick. Then we'll head on back and check in with everybody. All right. Ten seconds on the clock. Give it a shot. The question is this. What invention lets you look right through a wall? What invention lets you look right through a wall? Ten seconds on the clock. Good luck. What invention lets you look right through a wall? It is a window. Well done, Kali. Kali is the winner. Well done. That was a big one. Big invention. Well done. There's no applause or anything over here, but you deserve it. Yay! Let's head on back to the chat, shall we? Nonsequently, I'm so glad you made it. This is nice. This is great. We got a new guy. We got two regulars. I'm very excited. A Frenchman, no less. That's exciting. It's really, really nice. I hope you're holding up well. Don't know what the weather's like over there. How you doing there? You all right, nonsequently? I was thinking about you. I'm glad you're here. Been a lonely stream until you and Khalid showed up. And, of course, JC. The King, pretty cool. How you doing? How you holding up? I'm doing great. I'm doing fine. I'm a little bit off my game. I got a slight cough, feeling slightly depressed, but not enough to ruin anything. Uh, my meeting today uh, didn't work out because I don't have a spot to meet with all the other comedians, and I didn't want to. I was feeling kind of anxious, and I didn't want to find a new spot. So I'm taking today off. It's the first time doing it since I started taking one off, just because I don't feel like it and can't find a spot. But other than that, everything's fine. Let's see. Let's spin the wheel. At least we got each other. I don't even need a place. I just got my comfy chair and I can do my stream. This is nice. Kids are hiding in the other room. Jeffy, my wife, is sleeping in the bedroom. Joke! Let's head on down to the theater. Tell a joke. Two men are adrift, excuse me, two men are adrift in a lifeboat for days. While rummaging through the boat's provisions, one of the men stumbles across an old lamp. When he touches it, a genie comes forth. This genie, however, states that he can only deliver one wish, not the standard three. Without giving much thought, one man blurts out, Make the entire ocean into beer! The genie claps her hands and the entire sea turns into bro. The other man turns into vrew. The other man looks disgustedly at the one who makes the wish and says, Nice going. Now we're going to have to pee inside the boat. There go. <laughs> oh, no, I got a new spot. We got the spot. Uh, oh, let's go back to the chat. We got a spot. It's at the comedy club. It's just they have a matinee today. They have somebody paying to use the space, so we got kicked out. You know how that goes. But... Just didn't want to find it today. I just yesterday I was feeling so grouchy and angry and no particular reason. Ooh, I like the looks of that. What's going on with the ooh? Something exciting happening? I just did the speech from the from the dictator for you guys. The Kali caught the end of it. What's exciting? Oh, I can't wait to find out. Yeah. Okay. Eh. Nah. Oh, that I still have a space. Yay! Yes, I still have a space. Hooray for that. And at least we got this space right here. 
Yeah, I did a speech from the dictator. I'm excited here. Well, I'll do it again. What the heck? I just did it for practice. Let's try it again. I just did it, but I'm doing it again right now because it's you. You're here. Let's do it. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be an emperor. It's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone, if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white, we all want to help another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there is room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge made us cynical. Our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass, and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers! Don't give yourselves to brutes, men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives. Tell us what you do, what to think and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate, the unloved, and the unnatural. Soldiers don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, The kingdom of God is within man. Not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. You. The people have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then, in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill what they promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now, let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers! In the name of democracy, let us all unite! Let's go back to the chat, shall we? How's everybody doing? You all right? That is a great speech. I love to hear it and I love to say it. Thank you. Hope it made you happy. And I hope, uh, uh, JC, if you're still around, I hope you enjoyed it, too. That's kind of what we do. I like to read inspiring stuff, if I can help it. Chaplin was so ahead of his time. No question. 
he was a great filmmaker before he could make great films. I don't know. Wish I knew more about him. Fascinating man. I know he won a he won second place in a Charlie Chaplin lookalike contest once. Seems like the kind of cool guy I'd want to hang out with. Butch is kind of my version of the tramp, you know. He's, he's my own character trying to explore the world through different eyes. Uh, thanks. That was inspiring. Let's find some more inspiration. Let's spin the wheel. Quack. Type whatever you want into the chat, I'll get there. Come on, song. You like singing a happy song. Songs, aww. Ask me anything. All right, it's up to you, Kali, and consequently, and to a lesser extent, JC, as you work on your paperwork. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. There we go. 60 seconds. I'm going to move it up to 30 seconds. Yeah, I like Dr. Strange's thing. Feel very powerful when I get to do that. There we go. 30 seconds on the clock. Ask me anything. Anything you'd like to know about life, about love, about show business, about philosophy, cooking, uh, geography, current events. Ask me anything. 30 seconds on the clock. Anything at all. Personal questions, it don't matter. What would you like to know? Take a look. All right. What have you eaten today? Let's go to the talk show desk. What have I eaten today? You're right. I should. I should eat. Yeah. I, I had. I went to Waffle House for my nine o'clock breakfast. Uh, I, I like to have a breakfast alone on Sundays and just sort of read my paper and think about stuff. Um, I had a chicken breast, bacon, and two eggs over medium. Have I ever had a Polish meal? I have not had a Polish meal. I've had Polish sausage, but it was at an American cookout, so I don't even know if I did it right. I think you guys eat it with mustard. What, what's, what's involved in a Polish meal? I'm really interested in that. I'm picturing sauerkraut, but that's probably the wrong country. I know very little about the Polish people. Tell me something I don't know, my friend. What's a good Polish meal? Like if Poland had a Thanksgiving, what would you eat? Does Poland have a Thanksgiving? Americans, man. I wish I knew more stuff. Yes, eating kielbasa with mustard. Excellent. I'm glad the secret got out. Be a shame if you didn't. I've never had it without the mustard. I love the mustard. Excellent. Well, let's spin the wheel some more. Callie, you're doing great. You're more than carrying your weight on the stream, and I appreciate you, my friend. No, nope, no Thanksgiving here. Well, you start one. Start one. You know a guy. The third Thursday of you guys have months, whatever you have Thursdays, eh. <laughs> make fun of gratitude, a cure, whatever. Pierogi, ooh, I've had pierogi, that is delicious. That's a uh, that's a uh, it's like a little pie cake type thing, right? The dessert, I love it. Start Thanksgiving, never a bad time to be great. Say what I'm grateful for, I'm grateful for you. You do have months, excellent, glad to hear it. I don't, I assume you, you do the 12 month thing. A secret South? I don't know. I never celebrated Polish Thanksgiving or Polish New Year's, but I don't know if you have one. Uh, wish I did. Let's spin the wheel. All right, how about a song? Feelings. All right, then let's head to the chat. Shall I talk about my feelings? Oh, don't need a clock for that. Listen. Uh, all right, you remember a while back uh, when I was trying to do the podcast with Butch, and then all my friends left the show, and they were all mad at me, and, and I was sad for a long time. While I was camping, uh, that was all I could think of. Like half the time I was thinking, I was still trying to untie that knot, still trying to figure out what went wrong, whether it was worth saving, uh, how much of it was my fault, how much of it was their fault. And it just, it still sticks with me. It's been since October 31st was when this happened, when I yelled at my friends. And they stopped talking to me, except for one of them who still writes back every now and then, just to open up the wound again, I swear. Um, 
but I wish I could feel bad about it. I, I start to feel a little hopeless. I feel like I'm missing something in my career. I really enjoyed doing all the open mics and running new material. That was fun, but now I feel like I need some kind of, I guess, positive reinforcement. I need just to remind myself I could be a headliner, you know, I, I, that I have the time to perform. I feel like an open micer. I don't like that. Family's good, though. I'm healthy except for the cough. Eating right still. I haven't, I've lost, I think, eight pounds since I started a few weeks back. So, I don't know if I'm my regular shirts, but I'm all right. Yeah. I'll work on forgiving myself. See if I can't learn some other things, too. Let's spin the wheel. Aw. Uh Aw. -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, Kali, let me go back and read that. How lovely was that? Hey, just remember, we love your show. You're a great entertainer and a wonderful person. That's... Thanks, man. I know you're not believing that now, but one day, my friend, one day you will know. I'll keep on keeping on. The important thing is even when I feel bad, I still do the work. That's what needed to be done. I didn't feel like having a stream today, but I did the stream anyway. And I'm glad you came. <laughs> I really did need the encouragement. Thank you very, very much. Uh, thank you. Let's spin the wheel. Appreciate the encouragement. Appreciate the subscribe. You guys are all right. All right, come on. Give me something cheerful. Cheering other people up. Cheers me up. Come on, song. Come on, song. No, 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 no. Ah, joke again. Yay, I love jokes. Canadian park ranger is giving some ramblers a warning about bears. Now, brown bears, he says, are usually harmless. They avoid contact with humans, so we suggest you attach small bells to your rucksacks and give the bears time to get out of your way. However, grizzly bears are extremely dangerous. If you see any grizzly bear droppings, leave the area immediately. So, uh, how do we know if they're grizzly bear droppings, asked one of the ramblers. Oh, that's easy. They're full of small bells. <laughs> oh, small bell. Let's spin the wheel. What month is it in, in uh, Poland right now? Right now here in the States, uh, we're in, I believe, the end of April. You guys have April? Do you call it April? I don't know. Vidja game, that's exactly what I needed. Let's head on down to the Vidja game vault. Oop. Technical problems? Like you, May! Yay! Next month is May? Excellent. Something else we all have in common. Nice to see. <laughs> very odd. Something very odd is going on here, my friend. I'm trying to push the button to make the video game go, but it's not helping me. <laughs> very odd. Like, I'm not going to be able to do it. Well, then forget the veggie game. Who needs it? Doesn't make any sense, though. There we go. I can. There we go. I knew I could figure it out. We can always do something else. That's a spirit, Kali. We will. All right. Man, your positivity makes me so happy. I should be around you guys more. Nice. Extended. Yay. USA. USA. Uh, got dent. I'm going to give you a dented. Nice. There's a guy I know. 
says that all comedians are dented cans. He describes us all as dented cans. Isn't that cool? Slightly damaged people. All entertainers. I like the sound of it. Dexton. That one. Oh, we made it! <laughs> oh, man, we're not even halfway done, and we're going to the next level. Fantastic work, everybody. I'm cheered up already. And... Oh, somebody else already got tended. Got tended and ended. Somebody else already got tended, so I'll do ended. There we go. I've never gotten all the words before. It's exciting. I think we could do it. Maybe there's a bonus. Ended. Ended. Extended. Deed. <laughs> nice try, not sequently. Not fast enough. <laughs> Good instincts, everybody. We made it. Let's go to the second level. <laughs> celebration feels pretty good three stars not too shabby i came out on top consequently just barely in second and kali in third very very nice let's try again pia pal Nice work, everybody. We're up to speed. Already halfway home in the first round. Might be the best game we've done so far. If anybody, you know, we had somebody from France in here earlier, not sequently. He just stopped in for a second. I don't think he subscribed or uh, followed, but he stopped in and said hello. That was pretty cool. Good job. Oh, somebody else already got that one. There we go. Oh, we did it again, team. Oh, our international team of experts is bringing down this video game. Proud of all of us. Papal. What, what about papal? Papal. Right? Like if the Pope does something, wasn't that papal? Eh. Eh, I don't know. You're Polish. If the Pope does something, is that papal? Apple. Lapple. Lape. Laple. Leapala. Lay. Plap. Pape. Hey! Ha ha! USA. USA. Way to go. Go Team Poland. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. Oh, no, my mistake. Not sequently got in there with that one. <laughs> English is ridiculous. It's the worst language except for all the other ones. I love English. People, leap. A leap would have been good. But we did it. 52 out of 41. We're going to the next level. And I got to tell you, that feels pretty good. One star. Not too shabby. Let's see who's in the lead. Overall, I'm still up on top. I think I have a 30 second head start on you guys. Uh, second place is not sequently. And third is Kali. Let's try her again. Too loud. Good one. Mind on the meat. Good for you, consequently. Lumate. Sounds like you brighten something up a little. Not enough to illuminate it, just enough to lumate it. Oh, go team, go! Methyl, Liamethyl, 
Meta, ooh, good one. Very good. Does meta mean the same thing in Poland? Does it mean like something talking about itself? Glad well, that's in the book now. All right, oh, oh, I better focus. Kumali, male, huh? There you go. Uh -huh. Let him. We can do this. Five more points, people. An M and something else. We did it! <laughs> USA in Poland. USA in Poland. All right. Very, very nice. What the fuzz to you, sir? No, 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 no. What the fuzz to you? Mute. Oh, somebody else? No, it's just not my turn yet. I'll get it. I think not sequently got loot. I guess somebody else got mute. I must have missed it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Don't have two E's. Oh, man. So close. So close. Ah, we're going to the next level. Well, well, I must have done the math wrong. Let's do a little dance again. <laughs> there we go. Somehow still in the lead. I don't think it's fair, but there it is. All right, on to level four. Feels pretty good. You guys are killing it. Proud of you. Here we go. I like to hang out with some people. What am I grateful for today? Thanks for asking. I'm grateful for my friends who are on the stream. I'm grateful for my friends in real life, my family, my health, weather, sunlight, delicious food. <laughs> Fart. <laughs> Epic. Ooh, got it. <laughs> USA. USA. In Poland. After, very nice. Think we got craft running around here somewhere. Some nights all you have is craft. One of my favorite actor things. Fractal, not not quite fractal. Practical. Ah, uh, Tafarian. Raffy. Right? That's a that's a character name, I think. Oh. Fate accompli. Yes, if my French friend's still watching, that one's for you. Pretia. Pretia. <laughs> Rift and Raph. Nicely done. Got Rift and Raft. All right. We're almost... Oh, three more points. Come on, dude. Somebody. Oh. Ba -dun -dun -dun. Oh, well. Still very, very close. And still a very impressive run. Next time. Care. There it was. That's all we needed. Aww. Ah, well. I had fun. Let's spin the wheel. Good work, though, everybody. A high score for the three of us. I thought it was great. Very, very nice. Ah, positive. Wonderful. Let's. Come on. Ooh, what do we got? Shakespeare. All right, let's head on down to the Shakespeare Theater. This is sonnet number seven. Lo! In the Orient, when the gracious light lifts up his burning head, under each eye doth homage to his new appearing sight. 
observing with looks his sacred majesty, and having climbed the steep up heavenly hill, resembling strong youth in his middle age, yet mortal looks adorn his beauty still, attending on his golden pilgrimage. But when from highmost pitch with weary car, like feeble age he re-left from the day, the eyes for duteous now converted are, from his low tract and look another way. So thou thyself outgoing in thy noon, outlook on deist, unless thou get a son. I think I did that last week. Let's do sonnet number seven. Music to hear? Why hearst thou music sadly? Sweets with sweets war not. Joy delights in joy. Why lovest thou that which thou receivest not gladly, or else receivest with pleasure thine annoy? If the true concord of well-tuned sounds by union married do offend thine ear, they do but sweetly chide thee, who confounds in singleness the parts that thou shouldst bear. Mark how one string, sweet husband to another, strikes each and each by mutual ordering, resembling sire and child and happy mother, who all in one, one pleasing note do sing, whose speechless song being many, seeming one, sings this to thee, thou single wilt prove none. Everything's better when you do it together. That's a beautiful thing. Gotta love Shakespeare. Oh, thanks, buddy. I'm happy to talk to you whenever I want on voice. Thanks for reminding me. That's super nice. Ah. I don't even know what to talk about yet. Let's, all right, let's get this. I want to be showing emotions on the Shakespeare stage. Let's head on back. I enjoy the reading stuff. It really takes the pressure off. Nice. And there's something inspiring. The Bible and the Quran and Shakespeare, there's always something to be had from anything picked out at random. So I do enjoy that. I appreciate the voice chalk. And I got I got I can text not sequently now, but that's cool. I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to talk about yet. I'm still trying to figure out how you know, I consider this to be a success because the, the standard that I'm measuring uh, is by me doing it. So if I keep doing it, it's a success. But at the same time, I'm starting to wonder, gee, why don't I have more of this, more of that, blah, 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 all that stuff. Probably just ego messing with me. But uh, you guys are fantastic. Thank you for being here. I don't know why your chat didn't show up on the big screen over there, but uh, he said, also, remember that I will be happy to talk to you whenever you want on voice. Just let me know. No pressure. Thank you. Let's spin the wheel. Ask me anything. I don't know why that keeps coming up, but I like to ask you questions. I'll ask me a couple questions. 60 seconds on the clock. I will answer any questions that you have. Uh, let's see. seconds left. Ask me anything you'd like to know. This is fun. All right, let's give it a shot. Take down a stopwatch and answer the questions. Sorry, I hear trouble in the background. Maybe the kid's up to something. So that's why I'm making faces. All right, here's the question. First question. Uh, remember, I'll be happy to talk to you. It's okay to take breaks. It's your show, your rules. And even if you'll not be streaming for a long time, we will come back, of course. That's so sweet of you. I appreciate it. But I, I, my rules, I want to do it every week, whether I feel good or not. I hope it's still a good show. I hope it's still entertaining for you. 
not too dull even when I'm not feeling my best. I find that it really cheers me up, whether I'm sick or feeling crazy. Or Next question. Uh, what's your hmm? I don't know what that question means. What's your favorite thing to talk about? I love talking about comedy. I love talking about stand-up comedy, what works and what doesn't. Uh, I love talking about things that make me laugh, things that inspire me. Uh, people who do great work, I love talking about that. Favorite Polish food I never had? Well, I've had pierogi, and I've had Polish sausage. I've never had uh, Polish bacon. I've never had uh, Polish chicken fryer. I've never had uh, Polish lollipop. I don't know what Polish foods there are. Or I would eat them. I would order them. I would say, hey, bring me one of those uh, pierogi, please. I don't know Polish food, but I assume it has onions. I like onions. That's probably what I miss the most. Build onions. Any good movies or TV shows lately? I am so glad I asked. I watched Severance on Apple TV, and it's excellent. It's about uh, uh, a bunch of people who uh, get hired by a corporation, and they have surgery, so they can't remember uh, what their real life is like while they're at work, and they can't remember what their work life is like when they're not, when they're in their real life. They're called innies and outies, and it's about the separation of those two concepts. Really, really exciting. It's fun. Uh, I also just finished watch Yellow Jackets, which is about a high school uh, soccer team that crashes in the Canadian mountains and uh, goes crazy. Not as good as I'd hoped. Not as good as I'd hoped. Can't recommend it. Let's see. What is my favorite book? Uh, Flowers for Algernon. I love Flowers for Algernon. That's exploration of intelligences, figuring out what human beings are. Favorite Polish place never been to? Poland! I've never been to Poland. I haven't been to Europe since I was a baby. I'm dying to go to Scotland, and then while I'm there, I want to go everywhere. Bring you some coffee. Let's see. The greatest poll of all time, as far as I know, it's you. You, Kali. You're my favorite Polish person. I can't think of that. Well, let's see. Uh, Rebecca Radzievsky's pretty cool. I like her a lot. Uh, and Sarah Shabrinsky, she's awesome. She's Polish. Uh, she has Polish American, but she has a Polish background. And they're the two most beautiful women in the whole wide world. So uh, I guess them. And you're in close third. You're in close third. Uh, it's a good show. I'll check it out. Want to watch the new Dune movie today? Oh, cool. That's exciting. I never got into Dune. It looks beautiful. The acting is excellent. I, I did watch it. I just didn't immer I didn't submerge myself in it. You know, it, it didn't make me feel anything powerful. But I think you're going to love it a lot. There's a lot to be enjoyed there. I just think it might not be for me. Uh, let's see. Also, we're watching this show called Our Flag Means Death. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Our flag. I have the HBO Max. I love uh, the. I love the New Zealander dudes. I love Taika Watiti, and I love uh, the fellow. That other fellow whose name escapes me. Uh, my wife and I are watching Upload right now in the mornings. We have seven more episodes, but the next show we watch after Upload is going to be my. Our flag means death. I hear nothing but good things. I got lots of friends in the Ligabit Qua community who say it's game changing, and I want to see it. So thanks for the heads up there. You should check out Upload. It's on Prime. It's not bad. It's about uh, a corporation who runs a digital afterlife. So after you die, they upload all your information into an avatar, and you live in a, uh, a virtual heaven, I suppose, except it's in the form of a, a really fancy hotel. And they still charge you for stuff, even though it's all virtual. It's interesting. It's a lot of fun. It's by Greg Daniels, the guy who did The Office. I will definitely check out. I will definitely check out Our Flag Means Death. Huge fan of the book. I'm guessing you're talking about a huge fan of the Dune book. I haven't read those yet. I, and I understand there's like 20 or 30 of them. I just said, I've tried. I've tried. I've just never been able to connect to it for some reason. Love Star Wars. Love Star Trek. Love most science fiction. I just love David Lynch. I love the David. I mean, I watched the David Lynch movie. I tried to. It just didn't connect with me for some reason. I had never figured out why. But maybe I lack maturity. The time will come. I will watch it. It is so good. It's an amazing show. I will check it out for sure. Well, that was Ask Me Anything. Let's spin the wheel. There are about 556 billion shows about Dune, but only the first one matters. <laughs> I like that. Wisdom, finally, let's head on down to the, let's lay down some wisdom from on high.
It is better to be of a lowly spirit with the poor than to divide the spoil with the proud. I'm doing that. I like the poor, not people. That's from the Bible, of course. Here's another one that I wish I had learned earlier. Respond gently when you are confronted, and you'll defuse the rage of another. Responding with sharp, cutting words will only make it worse. Don't you know that being angry can ruin the testimony of even the wisest of men? That's Proverbs 15.1. Iron sharpens iron, and one man sharpens another. That's Proverbs 27.17. Very, very true. We are nothing when we are alone. Here's something from the Talmud. There is no community where everyone is rich, and neither is there a community where everyone is poor. True. Do not celebrate among the mourners. Do not weep among the revelers. Hope I'm not bringing anybody down with my mood today. The inclination only desires that which is forbidden. Producing Talmud, Nerim 9.1. The inclination only desires that which is forbidden. That's a very old-fashioned way of saying we all want what we can't have. What a bizarre piece of human nature that is. Why desire over things that you don't need? Boy, I have such a strong feeling about advertising. I hate advertising because I feel the entire purpose of advertising is to make us desire things we don't need to desire. And desiring is suffering, so advertising is cruelty. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it is in your power to act. Here's another one. First, mend yourself, then mend others. That's uh, very true whether you're on an airplane or uh, at church. And one more Jewish proverb. Worries go down better with soup than without. When you're not feeling well, eat something. Might help. Good advice. As you teach, you learn. That's also a Jewish proverb and also very, very true. And the point of this particular exercise. To help me learn things that I don't know by sharing them with you. If not for fear, sin would be sweet. Let's spend a week. Come on, I picked out five or six new songs. I want to do some songs. Come on, wheel. Get me involved somehow, wheel. Aw, oh, aw. Oh. Shakespeare again, why not? <laughs> Kali just redeemed song. So I can sing a song. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to sing a song. This is sonnet number nine. Is it for fear, to what a widow's eye, that thou consumest thyself in single life? Ah, if thou issueless shall hap to die, the world will wail thee like a makeless wife. The world will be thy widow, and still weep that thou no form of thee hast left behind, when every private widow well may keep by children's eyes, her husband's shape and mind. Look, what an unthrift in the world doth spend shifts but his place, for still the world enjoys it. But beauty's waste hath in the world an end, and kept unused, the user so destroys it. No love toward others in that bosom sits, and on himself such murderous shame commits. Yeah. Let's sing a song. This is for you, Kali. There are girls just right for some kissing, and I mean to kiss me a few. Oh, those girls don't know what they're missing. I've got a lot of living to do. There is wine already for tasting, and there's Cadillacs all shiny and new. Gotta move, cause time is a wasting. There's such a lot of living to do. 
There's music to play and places to go and people to see everything for you and me. Life's a ball if only you'd know it. And it's all waiting for you. You're alive, so come on and show it. There's such a lot of living to do. Nice. That's a song made famous by uh, Sammy Davis Jr., one of our uh, great entertainers here in America. <laughs> there we go. Great applause. A lot of living to do. You're welcome, Kyle. Lee. Thanks for a question one. I feel like doing one more. That's a short song. When you take out the instrumental parts, most of the songs are pretty short. Let me try one more. A really short one. One of my favorites. All of me. Why not take all of me? Can't you see? I'm no good without you. Take my lips. I want to lose them, take my arms, I'll never use them. Your goodbye left me with eyes that cry, how can I go on, dear, without you? You took the part that once was my heart, so why not take all of me? And they sing it two or three more times. Then I'm back to the chat, shall I? Hi, everybody. Doing great. Thanks for being here. Appreciate all of you. Oh, yeah, a little heart on the bounce. I like the heart there. Hey, you got access to the big fancy, uh, big fancy emotes now. A big fan of these for the song. Can't around with a thumbs up. There's some butch. There we go. I love these things. Feel free to get involved. I designed them myself. Let's spin the wheel. <laughs> yeah. Look. Nice, right? Doesn't he look happy? Go wheel. Come on, wheel. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. No ASMR, no ASMR, no ASMR. Oh, oh movie. All right. Let's watch a video. Head on down to the movie house. Don't, don't. All right, this is the second part of my clean comedy show from 2019 uh, that I performed on the Carnival Dream. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Your fault you got no business being in here. You seem like very nice people. I love children. I've got at least two kids myself. I'm happy to see you out there laughing with your family. I'd much rather you're here laughing than out there doing whatever it is you guys do out there. I don't know what you kids are doing on these ships, but I can tell by the looks on your faces, you're not supposed to be doing it. Am I the only one? Everywhere I go, I run into a tribe of random, feral, unattended children just <laughs> sitting in a semicircle looking like they're on their 19th Mountain Dew and they're planning a heist. <laughs> they're everywhere! They run to the stairs, run to the water slide, the elevator door opens, there's 19 kids riding it for fun. <laughs> One kid's like the mayor of the elevator. Oh, welcome, sir. <laughs> yes, yes, make room. What floor? Two? Allow me. <laughs> I love ice cream! I don't know why that kid sounded like an old British guy. But kids know how to have fun, man. Like at this point, I like to ask the kids what they do for fun. Well, you seem like a nice young lady. What's your name? Macy. Macy, very cool. And uh, you must be J.C. Penny. So nice of you to come. <laughs> no, that's a lovely name, Macy. Do you know where that's from? Is that Irish? Do you know? No, it's, I'm Irish, English, Scotch, French, and Welsh. Or as they call me downstairs, white. 
It's a true story. It's lovely to meet you, Macy. Where are you from? What's that? Oklahoma, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! I'm from North Carolina myself. Any Southerners here tonight? Yeah. How about Northerners? Where are my Yankees at? <laughs> the South won that one. I love living in the South. I love the people, I love the weather, and I do truly believe that the South will rise again. Amen. But when it does, the national anthem is going to be in Spanish. So go ahead and embrace that. I'm cool with it. Lovely to meet you, Mason. Thanks for being here. What's your name, young lady? Madison. Very cool. Nice to meet you, Madison. Are you, uh, you also from Oklahoma? No, where are you from? Texas. What are the chances? Very popular choice. What's been your favorite part of the cruise? Don't care anymore. I, I like, no, I'm kidding. What was your favorite part? Okay, no further questions. That's money well spent, Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Texas. Okay. I like to ask the kids, because they have a totally different experience. I asked one kid last cruise, it was, it was a four-day cruise, and, and his favorite part of the entire cruise was when they went to Cozumel and they got snipped by the customs dogs. <laughs> But my personal favorite, and I swear this is true, there was a young man sitting right where you're sitting, and it was about six or seven weeks ago, it was a seven day cruise, we went to five different countries. His favorite part, he wanted to see how many ice cream cones he could put on the stairs before security stopped him. <laughs> you know, that's true, because I couldn't think of that in a thousand years. You guys are amazing, man. This is really fun. Usually these family shows are terrible. This is nice. <laughs> I did the timing wrong on that, so it didn't get a laugh. But <laughs> it is what I'd like to do real quick. If you don't mind, will you do me a favor? Will you give me a big round of applause for my buddy Birkin back there? Birkin, he's all the way from Cyprus. He runs our lights and our sound. Would you bring the house lights up for me, please, Birkin? What I like, look at this, full house. Wow, that's, that's so good. Okay, uh, what I like to do real quick, I want to take a quick picture of the audience. I like taking pictures of my audiences. I've done it my entire career. Uh, but if you don't want your picture taken, I totally respect that, okay? If you're shy, or if you're weird looking, or if you're hiding from the cops, or if you're cheating on somebody, whatever, it's none of my business. Cover up your face, you won't be in the picture. But if the rest of you could smile and act like I'm hilarious, that'll save me a lot of trouble in Photoshop, okay? So I'm just gonna do a big panorama picture, put it up on the website. And this picture's just for me, by the way. I'm not gonna, you know, sell it to you. I'm not like the pirate in the dining room. Are they still doing it? Yes. With the knife? Yes. Does that strike anybody else as completely nuts? Yes. Does anybody enjoy the pirate in the dining room? No. no, nobody does. And they do it on every ship in the entire fleet. They've done it for 20 years. I don't know anybody who likes it. Is that the governor? <laughs> The only thing that I can figure, first of all, the pirate is the natural enemy of the seagoing civilian. Can we agree on that? Yes. Why don't you just stand over there dressed like an iceberg, you freak? <laughs> Trying to eat. The only thing I can figure is somebody must have gone down to Miami to the carnival office and just done a fantastic sales pitch. Somebody must have come in with a straw hat and a great attitude, like, all right, fellas, check it out. I got a money making extravaganza. You know how you like being interrupted while you're eating? Yeah. Well, I figured out how to monetize that. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the guy who serves the bacon in the morning, the bacon distribution professional. We're going to dress him up in a slightly racist outfit so he looks like a violent criminal from the 17th century. Huh? Then, with no warning whatsoever, we'll have him sneak up behind our guests and put a knife to their throat while their mouths are full of food. Because what's more fun than having your life threatened by a stranger? And I know what you're thinking. Sure, it's fun. Where's the money? That's the genius part. We take their picture. 
And for only 25 bucks, they can know exactly what they look like when they choke. Huh? This isn't like that at all. This one's just for me. So I'm just gonna do a big old panorama, put it up on the website, big smile. And uh, my website's very easy to remember, by the way. My website is www.screwtheamish.com. That is my website. It's real, screwtheamish.com. And it's not because I hate the Amish. I just wanna see how long it takes for them to find out. It's true. It's true. I've had that website up for 14 years. And I have not received one Amish complaint. No phone calls, no angry tweets, no DMs, no instant messages, no Snapchat, nothing. I got one cease and desist carrier pigeon. What are they gonna do, shun me? I could take a shunning. Some of you are shunning me right now. Not afraid of the Amish. I'm a little afraid of the Amish. I <laughs> thank you for those lights, Bergen. I uh, I'm so glad you made it. The first 15 minutes was just killing time. <laughs> Let me bring you up to speed. I feel fat and I don't like cauliflower. All right. <laughs>
cauliflower <laughs> is just broccoli that's been terribly frightened. That's there you go, all the cauliflower jokes cauliflower. you could possibly want. Let's head on back to the chat. Now, apparently, uh, Kali, very, very pro cauliflower. I'm anti cauliflower, yet we will find a way to coexist. That's what America is all about. You don't have to like what I like, and I don't have to like what you like. We don't yuck each other's yum. Live and let live. That's the way I feel about it. Let's spin the wheel again. Frank. Only 10 minutes left. If I forgot anything, now's your chance to request it. Head on back down to the wisdom. Let's lay down some wisdom from on high. Here's some wisdom from the Quran. Allah does not burden a soul except with that within its capacity. Fancy way of saying God doesn't give you more than you can handle. That's probably true. It's definitely been good to me. Do not flaunt yourself, as was the flaunting of finery in the earlier times of ignorance. Good advice. Don't address fancy. Draw attention to yourself. For all the wrong reasons, either pride or greed or something ain't right. If you want everybody to look at you, that may right. So, whoever receives guidance receives it for his own benefit. Whoever goes astray does so at his own loss. And no bearer of burden can bear the burden of another. Very true. Surah al Sirfra, 1715. Here's a real short one. Mankind have not been given of knowledge except a little. We know a little bit, just enough to make us crazy. And I'm gonna do The Man in the Arena by Theodore Roosevelt. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. That's by Theodore Roosevelt, one of America's greatest brothers. Well, you guys got to go after wisdom, but next time we will be here again. Well, hold on. Chat shall I We have to go after wisdom, but next time we'll be here again. Thank you for streaming, and remember, please, you are amazing, funny, and wonderful. We came here because you were entertaining. We stayed because you're a great person. We really appreciate you. You want to hang out and chat sometime? Let us know. I do. This is. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Good luck with the work you're doing. I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. It means a lot to me. Thanks for being kind to a stranger. Appreciate it a lot. Let's spin the wheel. Have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you guys. I love you. Be safe. Movie! We already did two movies. We're not doing another movie. Ah, who am I kidding? I think if you guys are leaving, I'm just going to do stuff that I like. So I'm going to sing a song. Five minutes left. Wait, we didn't do a poem yet. Let's do a joke, then we'll do a poem. Joke first, then poem. Hi. I'm okay, I'm almost done with my stream. 
There were once twin boys, age six, that had developed extreme personalities. One was a pessimist, while the other was an optimist. Concerned, their parents took them to a psychiatrist. First, the psychiatrist treated the pessimist. Trying to brighten his outlook, the psychiatrist took him to a room filled with toys. But instead of yelping with delight, the little boy burst into tears. What's the matter, the psychiatrist said. Don't you want to play with any of the toys? Yes, the little boy bawled. But if I did, I'd only break them. Next, the psychiatrist treated the optimist. Trying to dampen his outlook, the psychiatrist took him to a room piled to the ceiling with horse manure. But instead of wrinkling his nose in disgust, the optimist climbed to the top of the pile and began gleefully get, digging out scoop after scoop with his bare hands. What are you doing? The baffled psychiatrist said. The little boy replied, With all this manure, there must be a pony in here somewhere. <laughs> That's fun. We can all enjoy that. Let's head on down to the Poetry Pagoda. I like reading poetry. Oi, you want to say hi to the folks at home? All right, hold on. We have a special guest. We'll come back to the Poetry Corner in just a second. We have a special guest here at the very end of our stream. Uh, come on in and say hello. This is my daughter, Charlotte. Say hi, Charlotte. Oi, 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 ahoy, hoy. Uh, she plays, she often plays uh, Crackers the Eagle on Sundays or on Wednesdays. Shirt. Yeah, your shirt's green, but not completely green. So you're vanished, but not all vanished. We only have about two minutes left. Is there anything you'd like to say to the people? Oi, oi, oi. All right, it's time for a poem. I like poems. Well, don't move my chair. You know the rules. Thank you. Let's read The Silver Fish by Shel Silverstein. While fishing in a blue lagoon, I caught a lovely silver fish, and he spoke to me. My boy, quoth he, please set me free, and I'll grant you a wish. A kingdom of wisdom, a palace of gold, or all the goodies your fancies can hold. So I said, okay, and I threw him free. And he swam away. He laughed at me, whispering my foolish wish with silent sea. Today I caught that fish again, that lovely prince of fishes, and once again he offered me, if only I would set him free, any one of a number of wonderful wishes. He was delicious. I like it. I, I eat the evil fish. Oh yeah. Do you have a favorite poem, Charlotte? Okay, you know any poem? Okay, you'll have to learn that. If you want to, everybody should know a couple poems. Well, it's about time to go, folks. I want to thank everybody who's watching for watching. Uh, thank you to my special guest, Charlotte Rose Melwater. Very nice to see you, girl. Appreciate you. I uh, hope everybody had a few laughs. And remember, the only way to save this country is for all of us to love one another. So love yourself and then love somebody else if you can. Until uh, next time, I'm your host, Johnny Melwater, and I'm just trying to get better. I'm just an old chunk of coal, but I'm going to be a diamond someday. I'm going to glow and grow till I'm so blue, perfect. I'm going to put a smile on everybody's face. I'm going to kneel and pray every day, lest I should become vain along the way. I'm just an old chunk of coal now, Lord, but I'm going to be a diamond someday. I'm going to learn the right words to talk. Chair forward. I'm going to search and find a better way to walk. I'm going to spit and polish my old rough hedged self till I get rid of every single flaw. I'm going to be the world's best friend. I'm going to go around shaking everybody's hand. I'm going to be the cotton picking rage of the age. I'm going to be a diamond someday. Goodbye, Americans. 
Goodbye, French people. Goodbye to Polish. Be good. See you next time. And I will say always. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs>